Hello, welcome to my video. Today, I will show two different ways for calling the OpenAI API step-by-step. -step. First method, I will use HTTP client calls the OpenAI endpoint. Second method, use Azure OpenAI NuGet package. Two methods are extremely easy and straightforward, but before I start, first we have to log into OpenAI API portal to create the API secret key. If you don't have account, you can register an account. It will give you $5 credit for first time users. Once we log in, let us create a new project first and then generate the API key under this project. Click on the default project dropdown and then select create project. I will use my demo as the project name. Click on create button to create the project. Select the API keys on the left hand side sidebar and then click on Create New Secret Key button. For the name, I type my API key. Make sure select the My Demo in the Project dropdown. For the permissions, choose All, and then click on Create Secret Key button. Make sure copy down the API key because you won't be able to view it once you close the pop-up. Now, we already got the API key. We still need the endpoint and the request body that we use to call to OpenAI. Let us click on Playground. On the System field, type, I am a programmer. On the User field, type, please help me write a Hello World c -sharp program, and then click on Add button. Now click on View Code button in the right-up corner. In the drop-down, select Curl. The endpoint is right here. We need to create the post request to call this endpoint. Here is the request body. We have to send this JSON string with the post request to this endpoint. We got everything we need. Let us open Visual Studio and create a Blazor web app to call this API endpoint. Select File, New, Project to create a new Blazor web app project. Click on Next. The project name type OpenAI API. Click on Next. We use .NET 8. Leave anything by default and click Create button. A new project is created. Expand the components and pages folders. Open home.razor page. We will change the code here. For saving time, I already prepared the code. Let me copy it and paste here. In this code, you will see two private async methods. First method, method one is using HTTP client to call OpenAI API. Second method, method two is using the NuGet package to call OpenAI API. Let us go throughout method one first, so I comment out method two. First, we define and initialize the HTTP client object. Clear the request header, and then we do the authorization for calling the API with the secret key that we generated before. Once we successfully authorized it, we need to copy this JSON string and assign it to request body variable here. Next, we generate the post request and call to this endpoint. For request body here, we have to encode it with UTF-8 format. Finally, await for the respond. Read the response as the string and save it to this variable. It bind to this text area, so the respond string will show in here. Now, let fill out all these missing parts and then run and test the program. First, let us copy the secret key that we generated it before to here. For request body, we need to copy this JSON string. and paste here. Compress this string into few lines and add the backslash to the double quotation marks. 
Let us speed up a little bit. Finally done. One last thing is to copy the API endpoint and paste here. Press Ctrl-C to copy it. And paste it here. That's all. Let us press Ctrl and F5 run it and test it. It compiles successfully. The browser open in my other screen. Let me drag it here. It displays the respond in JSON string format. If you only want to show the content, we can use Newtonsoft JSON package to deserialize it. Now, let us go back to Visual Studio and work on the method 2. For method 2, we have to install the Azure OpenAI NuGet package. Right-click on Project File and select the Manage NuGet package. Since this package is still in preview, please check the Include Pre-Release checkbox. Search Azure, ai.openai. Select the latest version and install it. The package is successfully installed. Go back to home.razor page and uncomment the method to function. We also need to comment out the namespace. Highlight it and click on Uncomment button. Look like it doesn't work. Let us uncomment it one by one. Now scroll down and let us fill out the missing information for method two. Let us first copy the secret key and paste it here for system chat message. We will copy from here. I am a programmer and paste it here. One last thing for the user chat message, user prompt. We will copy from here. Please help write a hello world c -sharp program and paste here. Let us go over this simple method in a little bit detail. For calling OpenAI API, we need to define and initialize OpenAI client object with the API key, but if you want to call Azure OpenAI, you have to use Azure OpenAI client instead of OpenAI client. Next, we need to select the AI model and then call to API endpoint with system prompt and user prompt. Wait for the respond message and assign it to this variable. Then display it to the method to test area here. We also need to uncomment this line so it can call the method to function. Look like everything is ready, so we can press Ctrl and F5 to compile and run this program. The browser is open in my other screen. Let me drag it here. The method to response message shows in this text area. It provides us the hello world program sample. For method one, it respond the JSON string, whereas method two, it return the content directly. That's all for today. I hope you like this video and learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, please.